What is up everybody? This is Marshall Lee of donkeyjawprojects.com and this is a live stream in my car sketching during lunch break. And uh, I don't know what I'm gonna sketch, but uh, we're gonna talk about me doing one new comic book every single month. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> um, so, you know, I don't, I've never made like an official video, I don't think, talking specifically about this, but I was on my buddy Fway Storm's um, live chat um, earlier today, and uh, I was chatting with him a little bit, and uh, his live stream, and, and uh, my buddy Dave, who also watches my videos a lot, um, he, I actually asked the question, what, what video should I do today? Because I got to make a third video for this week, and I don't know if I'm going to have time to do it tomorrow, and then Monday, or, or uh, Sunday, you know, is the beginning of the week, and that's what I consider the beginning of my week, so, you know, I was just like, I, I need to get a video done today because tomorrow I need to focus on what I need to do. And uh, so I'm like, what what should I do, talk about today? And uh, Dave actually mentioned that, uh, you know, why don't you uh, talk about like the ideas and plans for other comics that you have coming up for your Patreon monthly comic? And, you know, I wasn't sure at first, but then as I thought about it, I'm like, you know what, that would actually be a good thing to talk about. Um so I'm I'm gonna check I'm gonna talk about it a little bit. Um, so one thing that uh, I came across too um, recently, I was watching one of Jason Brubaker's videos, and um, he said doing work creates clarity, which I thought was interesting. And so I, I'm noticing that kind of with what I've been doing. Um, So you can hear him in my car. I got the sirens going by. <laughs> um, turn the heat off, which is crazy because it's like one of the coldest days we've had so far this winter. But I had the heat going crazy hot, you know, up until now. And then uh, it's pretty warm in here. So hopefully, you know, by the end of this stream, it'll start to get like too cold or whatever. So I don't know. It'll be interesting. Um, feel free to throw something in the chat as well. I'll be happy to respond. Um, but yeah, so you know, what am I, you know, doing here with this thing? And, and, uh, you know, it's just interesting. Um, so far I've been doing this for, let's see, about four months now, five months, something like that, where I do a comic every month for my Patreon patrons on Patreon, um, for only a dollar a month, uh, they can get that. And, um, it's pretty cool. They can get whatever comic I make. And, and I do make it available for people to buy usually as well. Um, but they get kind of the the free first look. Sometimes it takes a while for me to... Like the one I'm doing right now, I haven't put up any kind of uh, thing on my website um, selling it yet. Because I just haven't had a chance to. I plan to. Um, but, um, you know... Um, I, uh, I, so, so this mini comic, um, so I guess what, what I need to talk about here is what are my plans? Um, and basically, um, it's kind of a free for all at this point. Um, I do have a lot of ideas that I've thought about in the past. Some of them fit the format of doing a monthly comic, but a lot of them don't. Um, and so you know, I'm kind of not sure to be exact, exactly honest, um, on what, uh, what's coming up, but I do have a lot of ideas. Um, the fact that I'm doing all these videos about mini comics and how to make mini comics, I, I put that one out yesterday. You should definitely check that out. It was really cool. Um, and, uh, you know, I put out the one hour comic book challenge, which looks like Dave Hingley's going to do. And a bunch of other people have said they want to do it as well. Um, so that's cool. And, um, my buddy Matthew Enstrom actually did it this month to, or, uh, the other day as well. So you should definitely check out his video. It's, it's really, uh, awesome. He did a great job with the challenge and everything and, you know, check it out to see how, how exactly he did. Um, but, uh, yeah, he, I really liked what he did. Um, and, uh, you know, so I've been talking a lot about mini comics and stuff and, and, you know, as I've been 
kind of when I, when I first did that one um, hour comic challenge thing, I was looking through my you know mini comic collection and I was like, you know what? I miss these. Like I haven't messed around with mini comics, the idea of mini comics for a while. And so that kind of inspired me to make the comic for January. I was like, you know, I think I want to mess around with mini comics and stuff. Um, I don't know why it doesn't want to focus. I guess in live stream version, it doesn't want to focus. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it wants to like keep changing focus from my hand to the um, paper. And so that's kind of dumb, but whatever. <laughs> I'm just kind of um, sketching for fun. I don't really have a purpose. I've never drawn this character before um but <laughs> just kind of creating on the fly here just practicing um as i'm talking so um you know i was really inspired by by that so i was like all right and then i came up with this silly sketch you know i was actually looking through instagram and i saw somebody do like a creature design and um i forget what it was but i was like basically if you if you put like octopus legs on anything it makes it automatically cool <laughs> So somehow I thought of the name Pteridoctopus. And I was like, yes, like that, that actually kind of works as like a little name or whatever. So I was like, okay, what could I do with that? And then, you know, I was like, oh, I could have a character with it called Terra. And so it's Terra and the Pteridoctopus. And, you know, so that just kind of came almost out of nowhere. I'm like, you know what? That's going to be my comic for this month. I don't know what the story is going to be, but I feel like drawing this, you know, this crazy Pterodactyl character. Um, so I figured something out and I made a comic, um, and that was fun and challenging and interesting. And yeah, I don't know. I'm excited to get the comics sent out to people and it gave me an opportunity to make a video about mini comics, which I think mini comics are super awesome. So I was happy that I finally got a chance to really do a good video on that. Um, and I think, you know, it, it's inspired people already. They're talking about, oh, I want to do mini comics too. And and it's inspired me to maybe make this be a kind of how I generally put out comics on this monthly basis, you know. So for my Patreons, again, I'm putting out some kind of comic story every month. Um, and I thought they were going to be a little bit different than this, what I'm doing now. But yeah, I think, I think I'm going to stick with mini comics. And, you know, when I do come out with something that's a little more substantial than a mini comic, you know, that'll be something that I'm kind of because I'm I'll be working on doing a mini comic every month but you know I'm also working on other things as like a slow burn stuff that I you know have that I can take a little more time with and I have a lot of projects in the works um right now so you know in various stages of of um work as well you know so it's not like I'm kind of overwhelmed, but at the same time, a lot of this stuff isn't ready to be even messed with yet. So, you know, it's like I don't have to be super overwhelmed and kind of taking it one step at a time. But, um, you know, probably the biggest priority right now is some writing things and also, um, you know, the 100 Days of Making Comics, uh, Werewolves and Unicorns thing. I got to really get jumping on that this month because I only have two months now left to to do it and i have to spend some time um you know with that some good time with that to make it really good there's a lot of people you know all the people involved in making the 100 days of making comics anthology a lot of them are really good and and i i don't i definitely don't think i'm going to be the best one in the book which it doesn't matter i'm not trying to be um but there there's just a lot i feel i feel kind of like um there's just a lot like if I want to at least come to matching the talent that's in this, like I got to really work hard is, is basically <laughs> what I'm thinking, but it, it doesn't really matter. Like, you know, this anthology is a celebrate. It doesn't matter. You don't have to be like the most amazing creator. It's, it's a celebration of people doing the 100 days of making comics challenge that Kevin Cross created. And it's a celebration of people, you know, making a habit of creating comics and, and, learning and getting better at it and stuff so it doesn't have to be like it's not meant to be like the super amazing like the most skilled people make an anthology type of thing it's people everyday people just doing their best type of thing which i think is awesome and inspiring um so yeah um so 
Um, so my plans though, it's interesting. Um, another thing that was talked about on this, um, live stream, um, was this, uh, idea. This is something that, um, Fue brought up was that, uh, you know, if you had the chance to like work on a lo beloved, like childhood cartoon, um, and turn it into like a comic, what would you do? do and what would your um and would you change it up or would you kind of keep faithful to the cartoon and stuff like that and i kind of put my answer in there um you know but um it got me it made me think of just this topic because i've actually um you guys have heard if you follow my stuff at all you've heard me um mention this um collab i have coming up where i'm doing a mashup of spawn and another character which is still yet to be determined but we're getting closer to a decision on that um but i when i knew i had to draw spawn i immediately had this vision in my head of like something kind of more cartoony um which is interesting and um i don't know why it was like that but it ended up it was like something like this this was the and you know it's a, just a scribbly drawing um just kind of working out shapes and stuff and then i ended up doing this as drawing this it's a little more finished but it's it's a very rough drawing but something in this range of cartooniness with spawn i thought was really inspiring and fun and this is just from me memory so i might have some of the details of the costume wrong um but anyways it really made me think like it would be really cool to like do a fun version of spawn not like this crazy dark brooding version you know like the adventure spawn that i almost like the the spawn that like i kind of wish i'm not saying that todd mcfarland did a bad job i think it's interesting what he did with the character for sure but i think um i almost wanted like a little more fun and adventure and superhero-ness to spawn when i first you know when it first came out when i was younger and that's not the direction he went but i thought maybe it'd be kind of cool to do a fan comic you know um that was uh based around spawn and kind of do it the way that i would um kind of think of doing it you know the way i don't know just the, in this kind of vein that i was talking about and then i don't know i came up with this kind of silly idea and this gets into like a little bit of religious stuff but i don't mean to be, like even with this idea like i'm not gonna necessarily get super religious but a little bit maybe um but i thought it would be hilarious to do like a mini comic or a fan style comic called um hell spawn gets saved or something like that and i don't want it to be like this crazy like you know preachy thing i just want it to be a fun adventure comic and it's just kind of funny that he's like the hell spawn and he gets saved you know i don't know it just be kind of funny like um so i don't know let me know what you think of that maybe it's a stupid idea but either way i still think it would be fun to do kind of like an adventure fun like spawn fan comic for the pa my patrons and you know i wonder though like the only thing about that is is that like super like illegal i mean i don't think so because it's kind of like fan art and i wouldn't bring it any further than just doing a fun silly fan comic and giving it to my patrons um i wouldn't sell it like on my store or anything but it might be kind of i don't know it'd be kind of fun to put something like that out there i'm not trying to do it because i'm trying to steal um I, it's just kind of more of a fun exercise you know so i don't know what do you guys think about that i don't have to do that but that's just one idea i thought might be kind of cool i've had ideas before of possibly doing like um you know fan comics of characters almost like like i thought of like doing like young blood and stuff like extreme studio stuff and trying to do like an actual good story with it <laughs> and i don't know i i not, i don't even know if i'd be able to and <laughs> you know i don't really mean to diss the people who made those comics but i think they were more focused on um you know just getting comics out and trying to make them look as cool as they possibly could at the time and you know there it, there's just a lot of craziness going on at that time so it would be kind of cool to 
just try my own way of doing it and try to make it like the best story I possibly could. Um, so I do see that there's some people in the chat. So that's just one idea, you know, um, that would be kind of cool. And uh, let's see. Looks like Matt Man's in the chat. How you doing, man? Marius is in there. Um, do spawn and Howard the Duck mashup. <laughs> yeah, that, I think that one was suggested before. Um, I can't remember. Uh, let's see. Mar Mario, what's going on? You just saw my last video, and it's awesome. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, so everybody's just saying hi. Um, Marius says, I like it. I don't know the backstory but on the surface it has a lot of space for humor and that's kind of a fun thing too like a humor i don't know that i've ever tried to really do humor i don't know if i can it's funny though like tara and the pteradoctopus um i had my wife read it when i was done with it and she laughed at a few different parts and i'm like i was like i didn't even mean to make that funny i didn't even think of it as funny until i heard you laugh about it and i'm like it, it kind of is funny <laughs> so that should be interesting i'd be curious what people say it's not a funny book necessarily it's just kind of a kind of a i don't know it's it's a, just a little story it's nothing amazing but i i enjoy it <laughs> by the way if you want this uh <laughs> comic that i'm i'm hyping up so very well um you can go to my patreon patreon.com slash donkey job projects and um you know all you need to do is be a patron for a dollar and uh you can get the comic this month um I, I haven't sent them out yet and i know it's already past january but i'll be happy to send them to people um beyond you know kind of within into february a little bit as well so um so yeah anyways um let's see uh so other ideas i have a lot of ideas for comics and um I'll tell you, man, this, this challenge, this is kind of a self challenge of doing one comic a month. It's I'm learning so much and I'm also like, it's crazy. It's not easy. Like, <laughs> I don't know why I like made myself, I don't know. Like I, sometimes I, I'm close to like regretting making this challenge because it's just it is really hard but at the same time it's like it's it's exhilarating and i have so much more comic work done within the past few months because of it than ever and the only thing that i don't love is that i'm you know these are comics that have to be done very quickly so you know i'm i just look forward to working on stuff that's actually a little bit more of a slow burn and really putting a lot more time into it but doing mini comics is like a great way to like um kind of be like okay i i think when people get a mini comic they don't expect it to be like groundbreaking amazing work they expect it to be a fun mini comic i mean it's not necessarily fun but you know something almost more experimental <coughs> excuse me i still got this stupid cough going on um so, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to adjust this a little bit so I can make sure I get to the comments because I have to, like, try to fit my fingers through certain parts so I can press the little comment button. <laughs> it's pretty weird, the setup. <laughs> oh, wow. So let's see. Um, man, I might have to... Let's see. Muttman says, Spawn could meet a saintly little old lady whom he thinks needs protecting but ends up being more powerful than he is versus the demonic powers because she is a prayer warrior maybe she has some, that's great i love that <laughs> maybe i'll go that route i uh yeah that's awesome yeah, I do write the, uh Marius, i do write the um ideas down. Uh, i have a lot of ideas written down. Um you know, and so I guess I, I can mention some of the other ideas I have this month. I think I'm pretty sure I'm going to do a comic that I've had in my in mind for a while called Gush. Um, and basically, it's a very simple premise. It might not even be considered like an actual story. It's just like a, it's it's a an excuse to draw fun things. Basically, is what this whole comic is. Um, 
And I thought that I would do, I've had this idea for a while, but I thought this month would be the perfect month to do it because I've been really inspired by videos from a YouTuber called Vex and other YouTubers and other people on Instagram also who focus on doing like these kind of doodle collages where they just do these goofy doodled characters and, and sometimes the, um, it has like some kind of a, a story to it or, or, you know, there's always like some kind of interesting gimmick or format or, or, or I don't know, like there, there's some that they, sometimes they do this video, the one line challenge where you just do a continuous line and try to do a whole piece that way without lifting your, uh, pen off the, the page or whatever. So, um, there's all kinds of different things, but Vex is really cool and other are, people are, and this story gives me now that I'm inspired to do that this story is the perfect opportunity um, for that. And basically what this story is, is called Gush. And it's based off this kind of um, premise that um, like, you know, when somebody PDA public displays of affection um, and, and they, um, They kind of, sorry, I'm, I'm thinking of where I want to place things here. Um, and, and, you know, it's just kind of funny that, that like, it's a little bit uncomfortable when you see somebody like making out, you know, in like a public place or, you know, even if it's like, I don't know, like this happened when I was young, me and my wife, like we were, when we were first going out, we, I was in high school <laughs> and, uh. We were both in high school and, um, you know, you know, we were young kids who wanted to <laughs> make out cause that's what kids do and whatever. I don't know. Like when you're that age, that's what kind of what you do. Um, <laughs> and so, and I don't even know that we were making out in public, but it was like, it wasn't even making out. It was just, um, just being kind of doing the like baby talk type stuff and all that goofiness that's kind of I guess would be called cringeworthy or whatever um so we kind of had a pretty bad habit of doing a lot of that and um you know and and my sister-in-law she would like hold she would like have somebody hold out their hand and then she would like do a fake mouthing of like puking in that person's hand and it's just kind of funny and and, and I felt the same way when other people would do that kind of thing in front of me so you know I don't know it's just weird but um so it's like that idea of like being so like doing being so like uh i don't know silly with your your mate or whatever <laughs> um that it's kind of gushy and, and kind of gross and, and uncomfortable and so it's gonna be about like this kid he's like playing his video games and his brother or sister is always making out with his girlfriend or boyfriend on the couch or whatever and so it's going to be that same sentiment and it's just going to be an opportunity for me to like illustrate some really crazy stuff that i think will be like super funny um so i don't know <laughs> hope you guys will like it it's going to be like more of you know focused on the art of it than like some kind of deep story or anything so that's going to be this month's comic most likely um and I haven't started it yet, but again, I have to, I have to really spend a lot of time working on, uh, the 100s anthology as well. So this is going to be something that I kind of do during my lunch breaks and stuff. It's going to be, it's going to be another mini comic, I think too. So, you know, people who are patrons, they're going to get another mini comic sent to their house, you know? So, you know, make sure if you are a Patreon patron, please make sure your address is up to date and stuff. But, um, and thank you to everybody who is doing that. That's really awesome. Um, so that's one idea that I'm really like have excited about. And then, um, I had this idea called, um, there's a historical figure, but she's also kind of a fictional figure and historical figure, um, in a weird way. Um, but there's this person, she's, her name is, um, Cal they, she go went by Calamity Jane. It's like old Western thing or whatever. I didn't know anything about this until I heard a rapper friend of mine say it in a rap. <laughs> so I just looked it up because I'm like, what is Calamity Jane? I never heard of that. And apparently it's like this whole, there's like this whole mythology about this lady and whatnot. And 
she's you know in the in the wild west or whatever and she was kind of crazy and stuff apparently and apparently the person who actually the name came from kind of fictionalized herself as well like she kind of was like that but she kind of exaggerated it for uh fictional plays or whatever that they would do or whatever it's really interesting uh um stuff but a lot of people there's been like movies about it and and there's been other iterations of it and i thought i would do a comic version of it and i wanted to take it to a place where Cal calamity jane actually gets abducted by aliens and uh you know then it, it becomes like this crazy like sci-fi adventure type thing so you know i'm not going to go into it too much further than that but that's one idea that i have for these upcoming months and if anybody wants to suggest ideas too i mean that would be cool as well um you know i'd be happy to take on suggestions you know please just know that you know if you do you know you're giving you're you know, sending me ideas and you should be okay with me, you know, monetizing them and using them. And, you know, this is, you got to just know that they, this, these are going to become mine, you know, I guess, <laughs> um, you know, I just don't want to get into any weird legal thing or whatever. So, um, which I, at this level, I definitely won't, but you know, down the line, you never know. <laughs> um, so anyways, but it's fun, I think, to collaborate and, and stuff. And who knows, maybe, you know, that's another thing is some of these comics could be collaborations too if people are open to, you know, working on something and then, um, you know, letting me use it for my Patreon thing or whatever and they could use it for whatever they do. Um, that would be fun too, actually. Um, so if anybody's interested in something like that, you know, just let me know. I don't know. I'm always open to all kinds of things. So, you know... <laughs> That's how that goes. Um, let's see. And then there's other stuff like the Glyph comic and the, um, you know, the Hitchhiker, which in the first 100 days of making comics anthology, um, that was, uh, that was, um, that comic that I did for that one. And I'm going to be continuing with that this year as well, um, in a collaboration with a friend and, um, you know, so I'm working out that story now and stuff. Um, so, but when I do finally finish that, it will first go to my patrons. Um, and then, you know, eventually it'll be published in a book if all things, you know, God willing, as long as everything goes well with it. Um, so there's going to be more hitchhiker story, which I'm looking forward to. Glyph is a slow burn as well. You know, I'm working on a script and stuff with, uh, Fue storm or he's really working on it and i'm you know going to be responding to it and when he's you know ready i'm going to start working on it and whatnot and once that's done i don't know if that'll come this year or not i don't know when that's exactly going to come but uh you know that'll eventually be released to my patrons in some form or another and eventually released also as like an actual printed comic i still want to print um corn cob rob um fairly as soon as i possibly can but i just have so much on my plate right now that i haven't been able to get to it um so and there may be more of that you know um there's so many things i can do you know with this kind of one comic a month and i'll tell you it's a challenge it's a challenge especially to come up with a whole new world every time and but the kind of coupling it with youtube and making like I plan to make other comic book challenges. Like I started the, the um, one hour comic book challenge. Like I plan on creating other ones as well. Um, usually centered around um, mini comics. There's also the five hour comic challenge, which some people on YouTube have done. Not many people have done it, but that's probably one I'm going to do fairly soon as well. Maybe even this month. I don't know. Um, but that's where I could actually make them. Actually, I probably won't do it this month because I already have you know the idea so i think you have to make up your idea while you're doing the challenge so then there's also 24 hour comic day which is cool but i just found out that you can i saw somebody who did it and they started it worked on it and then they went to bed for seven hours and then they woke up and worked on it some more so they still did the comic within 24 hours but they slept and i've always said that I'll probably never do that challenge because I never want to be awake for that long a time. <laughs> but uh, you know what? I don't see any reason why, 
you know, if I, if I can sleep during that time, then I think it'll be all right. Like I'll, I'll be all right with doing that. So, uh, you know, we'll see, maybe we will do the 24 hour comic challenge. <laughs> um, so I don't know. There's a lot of other ideas that I have. Uh, but you know, and if you want to come on along with the journey, of course, again, Patreon, I've plugged it enough times today, but patreon.com slash donkey job projects. Um, you know, and I don't know if you have any other ideas of how I could do, you know, make this thing happen. It's like I said, definitely a challenge. Um, and these are just kind of silly faces I created, um, for fun while we're, we're talking. Um, Chris McQuin McQuinlan has done a couple really cool videos on um how to create new characters and faces and stuff and working on faces recently so check out his youtube channel and i was definitely using some of his uh methods that he taught in those tutorials so with this so yeah i don't know it's fun uh so yeah let me check the chat again oh hey guys <laughs> um i got my cool hair on you know the receding hairline <laughs> So, um, let's see, my phone's trying to ring, but I can't obviously answer it right now. Um, wasn't she on Wild Bill's hand? Yeah, her and Wild Bill is like connected or something. I, I don't really know. There's like kind of rumors and, and stuff that wasn't necessarily confirmed. Um, yeah, I kind of did some research. I didn't know much about it. Uh, Mario asked, how is your wife? Is she feeling better? Yeah, she's doing... She's doing all right, man. Um, thanks for asking. Um, uh, yeah, she, I don't know. You know, she. it's always, we're working on it, you know. Um, if, if you guys don't know, my wife has chronic pain. Um, and so, you know, we're working on trying to figure out that one out. Um, let's see. I, I want to catch up with these. Uh, let's see. Spawn can meet Sam. Okay. Um, man, I really of the cartoony spawn it's a cool take you have a lot of fun drawing the cape yeah yeah i think it'll be super fun and i think that by the time i'm done making that comic if i do um i'll be like i'll hate todd mcfarland for making it have chains and spikes and <laughs> capes and i think it's fun to draw a little bit but maybe not all the time <laughs> um let's see It's Marius says it's like meet Dave. Take a picture; it'll last longer. Eyes flash. I'm not sure what he's responding to um, with that one, but <laughs> yeah. Uh, Gibran, thanks for coming by, and yeah, it, it has to do with Wild Bill. I don't really know like all the connections though. Abe, how you doing, man? Uh, Infinite Dragon Sorcerer, what's up, man? Um, I don't I don't even know if you're a man or a woman, but. <laughs> um, Let's see, Infinite Dragon Sorcerer, how many subscribers do you have? How many? I don't know. You, you can probably see that better than I can. I'm on my phone doing the thing. But uh, I think last I saw it was somewhere around 100 or 1,050, which is crazy. Like, I, I was wondering if I was going to kind of teeter on that 1,000 mark and go back and forth. But it's just been going up and up and up. Um, so you know, that's really awesome. And thank you to everybody, all the new subscribers. You guys are awesome. I hope you're digging the videos I'm making, um, lately. And, uh, you know, always, I'm always open to hear, you know, your guys' ideas of what you'd like to see me do videos of. Um, I'm thinking that I really want to do like it, it's because I want to help my friends out, you know, but I was thinking of doing a series of, um, uh, YouTube videos that is about how to have an art channel on YouTube. Um, and this would be like sprinkled throughout the weeks or whatever. And they'd probably be kind of short videos and they would go into like a playlist so that people could kind of watch them as they go. Like they could watch a bunch of them at once or whatever if they wanted to. And um, I've learned a whole lot and there's not a, there's a lot of that kind of thing on YouTube. And I don't want to be a YouTuber who always talks about um, getting better at YouTube or whatever, but I do want to focus it on people who have art channels. Um, because there's, if you look that up on YouTube, there's not a lot. I think Jazda has a video, a bunch of, some of the popular 
YouTubers have videos and um, I've learned a lot and I want to help other people because there's a lot of simple things that you can do um, to help grow your YouTube channel. And there's things that are artist specific as well. So, um, you know, I want to get, I was thinking about getting into that just because I'd like to help my friends out, you know, so, um, you know, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. Um, but I'm going to mostly, I, I really want to focus on, um, just like entertaining fun art videos and stuff that's about comics. And that's another thing. And I'm going to get going here soon, but, um, that's another thing is the fact that I renamed this channel Marsh Makes Comics has actually been a kind of almost like a blessing in disguise because, um, you know, it's keeping me on track because <laughs> I'm the type, if you've followed me for any length of time, you know that I'm the type of person to get distracted by new creative shiny objects. So, um, you know, I'm naming it Marsh Makes Comics and I'm this channel is always going to be focus, have a comics focus, but you know, I'll do some other things like some fan art and things that are related and like YouTube art channel, I think is related enough. Um, you know, it'll always be kind of art based, but you know, it is trying to do those kind of YouTube channel, um, art channel videos. Is that too off base or do you guys think that would be okay? Let me know in the comments below, um, in the chat as well, but you know, people watching on the replay as well. Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Um, let me just check the chat one last time. Um, Gibran says, you got me going on mini comics. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that. And I'm glad that I'm, I'm getting people into that because mini comics are awesome. Um, uh, Infinite Dragon Sorcerer says, I'm a dude. <laughs> cool. That's awesome. Thanks um, to, for letting me know that. Sorry, I like spinning camera. Sorry, guys. Um, so yeah, um, now I know, <laughs> uh, infinite dragon sorcerer. I don't know how to record my drawings to make a video. Yeah. I mean, I can, I can probably help with some of that. A lot of that. I just kind of, I use my phone, you know, I, I'll tell you right now, I use my phone for almost everything. I make my thumbnails with my phone. I do my video editing with my phone. I record my phone, everything. Um, and then I just get stuff like this. Um, wait, stuff like this <laughs> that I'm hanging off of my visor <laughs> on my window. And, uh, you know, I just use stuff like that. I got it at five below for five bucks. So, you know, <laughs> there's a lot of simple things. Some people prop up their phone with like pen cases and stuff, you know, they do all kinds of things. So it's actually, you just use what you have to do the best you can, you know? Um, but you can also get professional gear that helps with that too. That'll mount your phone or your camera or whatever you use. Uh, and I think there was a couple more things, uh, Mario, I'm looking for knowing more about newsprint, man. I love that so much. Me too. Like that's what I want to print corn cob rob on if I possibly can. Um, so I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm, I'm looking, I'm trying to look into that as well. Um, but I know that you can do that. Um, you know, you, you can maybe go into the, um, Alterna comics. They're doing the, the print program where you can piggyback on his print runs. So I'm going to look into that as well. He did a video recently that I haven't gotten a chance to watch. Um, but yeah, um, uh, me too. Infinite dragon sorcerer. So how do you record your drawings? Oh, now I get it. Thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully that's helpful. Um, I can go into more depth with that too, um, especially if I end up doing this uh, YouTube channel, uh, art channel um, kind of video series. So yeah, let me know guys if you if you think I should do that or not. Um, I'll be curious to hear because I don't want to go off on that and then people are like, this is not what I came to your channel for. You know what I mean? Um, I just want to see comics and that's it, you know, so, you know, we'll see. But anyways, thanks again for watching. You guys rock. Um, thank you for watching in the um, live stream and thank you for watching in the replay if you're here and uh, I will talk to you next time. All right.